Have you ever gotten lost in a Tokyo train station? There are a confusing maze of underground shopping malls, dozens or literally hundreds of exits, and millions of signs trying to help you around. Navigating around to the correct platform or exit can be quite an adventure. Here are the five most confusing train stations in Tokyo. Number five, Shinjuku Station. This is a station I've lived and worked near, but it still felt like months before I could make my way around. With an average of 3.59 million people using the station every day, Shinjuku is officially the world's busiest and has a Guinness World Record to prove it. So what does that mean? Well, the complex is spread among five different train companies, which have 12 different train lines, some above and some below ground, which comes to a whopping 53 platforms. There are seemingly countless shopping arcades linking them up, and they seem to be crowded all day. Outside the tourist info center, might be a bit of help though. Oh, and did I mention there are well over 200 exits to this place? If you get really lost, maybe just head out of any exit and use Google Maps to get to your destination. Number 4, Shibuya Station. Just a few stops down on the Yamanote line from Jinjuku, this is the place best known for the Shibuya crossing. There's a load of construction going on at the moment, meaning exits and platform locations are changing all the time. As you can see, it's certainly not all finished. Just look at how many flights of stairs and how much we had to walk to get from one Tokyo metro line to another. You'd think the Fukutoshin and Ginza lines would be close to each other, but the Ginza line platform is actually on the second floor of a department store, the first subway line in Asia. It now features these fancy new yellow trains. If you are hanging out here, most people just follow signs for the famous Hachiko statue. You'll see signs everywhere. Just give yourself 10 minutes or so to adventure around. Number three, Ikebukuro Station. Unknown to many foreign tourists, it's actually a major hub for commuters coming from North Tokyo and Saitama. There are eight lines here transporting on average 2.71 million passengers a day. It's also the busiest Tokyo metro station. But with all these lines, it can get super confusing. Apparently the concourses have been given lovely names like Orange Road, Cherry Road and Azalea Road, but I just couldn't find the signs for these. There is Ikefukuro, the station's Ao. Number two, Otemachi Station. This is the largest subway station on the Tokyo Metro. You've got the Marunouchi, Tozai, Chiyoda, and Hanzamon lines, all coming together. They are all connected to Tokyo Station via an underground passage. As you can see, it might take a bit of time to get over to Tokyo Station. Let's head over to our final station then. Number one, Tokyo Station. Here we are, the magnificent Tokyo Station. This is on the Marunouchi side, which features the original red brick structure from when the station was first opened in 1914. And now the stats. Tokyo Station is pretty massive, with 16 lines and more than 4,000 trains arriving and departing daily, all connected with an extensive and winding network of walkways and department stores, including a bullet train terminal with six different Shinkansen lines.
does feel a bit like an airport terminal, don't you think? You could easily spend hours exploring all the shops, restaurants and malls of these stations. I hope this top 5 list will get you excited for your next trip to Tokyo. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more videos about Japan. For more information about the sites in this video, or to explore elsewhere in Japan, check out my travel book. It's the ultimate guide to travelling around Japan on the cheap.